You know what I mean? Joining us now is a man who signed uh, his fair share of deals. Oh, That's yeah. right. Large ones. Yeah. Re record setting. This guy was running to the bank more than he was running to the quarterback. Mm -hmm. But the reason why he was doing that is because the way he got to the quarterback was unlike anything we had seen for decades. This man came in as a brawler, a shit talker, a man who could get around the edge and run you over, and the night he was drafted, he was booed. Whoa. Yeah, unbelievable. What? City did not want him. No. What would he do later? Oh, whenever that city needed somebody, he would step up and help all the citizens because he felt as if he was just a member of the community down there. You would watch the Houston Texans play a game in person, and every single commercial that would run on the Jumbotron had J.J. Watt mm -hmm. on it. You know, sometimes teams will have, like, car dealerships that go ahead and get local sponsorships or, like, a local doctor or a local lawyer, and they'll team up with a player. You know, and that player will do an ad read for a local thing, and then there'll be a picture on it. Every company in Houston mm -hmm. did a deal with this guy. Yep. And there was a reason this guy was the culture. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us every single week, today being the first time, a three-time Defensive Player of the Year, future Hall of Famer, J.J. Watt. Yeah! Yeah! You look sweet. You look sweet. You look sweet. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm very happy to be here, guys. Thanks for having me. Very, very excited about this. And you look jacked, Matt. Thank you. I appreciate that. I am right now. I, uh, <laughs> I'm putting into work. I feel like a white, you know what I yeah. mean? But like that guy over there, he's up every morning 4 a.m. too. He's starting to wear more stuff because I think he's getting more jocked and more lean. We're just trying to be the most fit show because by the end of the season, I'm probably going to be 270, 280 of just slob. So right now, we need to enjoy it. Let's talk about this season, JJ. Uh, how's Burnley doing, huh? How yeah, we doing? Here we go. How we doing? <sighs> We're having fun. Uh, we're, oh, we're okay, that's all that matters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're coming out of the international break now. We've had a little bit of a rough start. We played, I mean, we played the best team in the world to start the season, which was a tough start. Yeah. Um, but we've had the international break to get some of our new signings accustomed to our team, learning our style. Culture. And I'm really looking forward to the matchup against Nottingham coming up. And uh, that's a big one for us. Nottingham's It'll a big one. Oh, yeah. hey, Nottingham, when they come to town, though, yeah. yep. boy. It's gritty. Hope that Burnley squad's ready because in the crowd, there's going to be some shenanigans. Yeah. Oh, Grown yeah. fists. From the hooligan. Oh, yeah. I feel like we got a hooligan crew right here. If we took this crew over there, we could do some damage. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be, first, first flight to Scotland, I'd go. Mm hmm. Right away. <laughs> it's in, in England. I, I, actually, I should probably learn if England and Scotland are the same thing. Yeah, whoa, see, whoa. that's not good. Yeah. You're an owner over there. You're whoa. one of the faces on the team. I mean, we can't Jeez. have that. I would love to go watch. No. It. Yeah, go ahead. A McAfee show live from Turf Moor uh, in Burnley. I mean, just dream stuff. Someday. Someday we'll get you there, boys. Hell yeah. That would be a dream. Uh, all in. What part of That's in England? Yeah, we're in England? Yeah, it's up uh, just outside of Manchester. It's up in northern England. Oh, Manchester. Yeah. Oh, okay. Of course. Oh, we know Manchester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you guys. We love Manchester. Yeah. That's one of our favorite places. New Hampshire. All right, let's dive into some uh, American football. You know, no offense. Yes. Foods bowl. Uh, this weekend, your brother went uh, ham. Now, I assume this is something that you expected. It was also revealed that he beat your uh, number of games to get to 80 sacks record by like four games or five games or something like that. You had an NFL record. Your little brother beats it. I assume this is something you enjoy seeing, or is it uh, still competitive banter about your career being greater than his career, him trying to catch you, fall in pools? What is the relationship between you and TJ, and uh, how do you genuinely feel about TJ and the history books of of the NFL as a pass rusher? No, I, I, I'm extremely happy for him. Um, we give him plenty of shit uh, as a, as a brother, as a friend, as like, a, you know, there's lots of stuff. He, he tried, he sent a text message to me and Derek of his entrance where he just the jump. And he was, he said like highest vertical jump in the family. Um, <laughs> that you get a lot of shit for when you text it in the group, yeah, uh, assume, but yes. passing, passing my records and, uh, anytime you're mentioned alongside Reggie White amongst things, like I'm elated for him. And he's going to start passing my records at a much greater clip now because he's entering the point of his career where I had all my injuries start to stack up. So he's going to he's gonna blow pie uh, a bunch of them. And I'm happy for him. You know, I, I watch this offseason as rankings come out, as all these, you know, who's the best defensive player of the NFL? And he's getting listed fourth, fifth on these lists. And I'm sitting there like, 
are you guys nuts? Like, are you guys literally nuts? And then he goes out there and he just reminds everybody real quickly why he's the best defensive player in the world. And three sacks, two forced fumbles. I mean, they had a very, very tough day. 49ers played incredibly well. Um, and they're an unbelievable team. But he is uh, picking up right where he left off and he's going to have an incredible year. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.